Now for more on this story uh, is Jerry Rodriguez, retired captain for the LAPD and retired deputy commissioner for the Baltimore Police Department. Captain, good morning to you. You have 35 years of law enforcement under your belt. You've seen the body cam video yourself. Your take on this altercation. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. Um, first, I will say that Mr. Hill uh, could have cooperated and things hopefully would not have escalated. However, uh, I am quite troubled with what I saw from certain officers. This escalated quickly. I believe that there was very little to no situational awareness. They were right by the stadium. You see these individuals that you should have at least recognized as potential players. Um, I think that the escalation was quick uh, and I believe unnecessary. Uh, it is also a terrible, terrible uh, public media event and exposure for the department. Uh, we could have done better. We should have done better. Uh, I don't think this is the way they intended it to go. Uh, oftentimes in my career, when officers feel that their orders, instructions, or directions are not being followed, uh, they tend to react, and we saw an ugly reaction. This yeah. is my opinion. Yeah. An what, ugly what, reaction. And what is the protocol? You know, you mentioned off the top that Tyreek Hill could have cooperated a little better. There's back and forth over the window being rolled back up. Hill didn't like the way that officer was knocking on it. But police did order him to keep it down. What is the protocol when a driver won't keep the window down after you've pulled them over? Should it have led to handcuffs? No. We like to have the windows down, especially when they're tinted, because we like to be able to have a dialogue. We like to be able, to, for officer safety reasons, make sure that the individuals are not uh, looking around. But this is where that situational awareness, I think, should have kicked in. They should have quickly realized that this is a football player uh, first night of games, he's going. We're just a, a short ways away from the stadium, and they should have be able. They should have recognized that and handled it accordingly. There is no law that mandates that we have to keep the window down. And what do you think is appropriate you know, repercussion or consequence for the officer and officers involved here? You know, that's a great question, and I'll tell you why it's not a simple answer. Clearly, even what we saw there, you have to question whether that's necessary. If uh, Mr. Hill was injured, could that have further caused injury? The problem is there's a lot of things you look at when you uh, when you assign penalty, and that's what you're talking about, if they're sustained for this. Uh, there's prior complaint history, work history, uh, and then you have to look at all of the officers there. I saw different actions from different officers. Uh, I don't believe that they were all equally culpable in the use of force. There has to be a long investigation. You have a personnel complaint, you have a use of force. Uh, force was used, and sometimes if there's an allegation that force was excessive, unnecessary, that could have a prima facie criminal allegation. Uh, I'm sure the department will look into that. Ultimately, he was released. Yeah, I know you said the, the main officer looked to be way too emotionally involved here. And I think Tyreek Hill made a good point to the media after the game, right? He said, what if I wasn't Tyreek Hill? What if this had, you know, been any other regular person who had been pulled over without celebrity status? Um, who knows? Jerry Rodriguez, thank you so much for breaking this one down for us. I'm sad we have to do it in the first place. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.